Welcome to the series of tapes designed in this case to acquaint you with the exploratory program at Millersville University. I'm Dr. Ralph Antonin, your host for the series, and with me today to talk about her first year experience is Kelsey Savinsky. Yes. Did I say that right, <laughs> yes, Kelsey? Yes, you said it right. <laughs> okay, I want to welcome you to the uh, interview, and uh, first yeah. of all, just to get to know you a little bit, uh, where are you from? I'm from Quakertown, Bucks County. Okay. Um, Quakertown High School graduate? Yes, Quakertown High School. What year? Uh, 2010. Okay, so you came to Millersville in the fall of 2010, right? Yes, yes I did. All right. Did you know you were in a uh, course uh, called the First Year Inquiry Course? Did you know that when you came here? Yes, I actually picked it. I know we had like a few choices, and I, I knew we were going to be in a first year seminar. We were going to be housed with people that were okay. also undecided. So I picked Homes and Homelessness. And you got your choice, right? Yes, I got my choice. First and did year. you also know there were other courses accompanying it, right? Yes. You remember what that course was that fall? It's either speech or English. Uh, um, English was English one. One ten, right? Yes. And that was sort of joined together, right? Yes. Uh, the same students went to those two courses. Did you notice that? Yes, and the course was actually really well run because both of them went hand in hand. Okay. And at the end, we had a full like project between the two classes. Okay. Do you remember who taught that first year course? Uh, Doherty. Doherty, Doherty taught the English, but who taught the? Uh, Doctor O'Neill. Which one did you have? The Home and Homelessness home one? And, homelessness, yeah. and he was also your advisor, right? Yes. Yeah. What was he like as an advisor? Awesome. Very helpful, very personable, very nice. Um, I loved him. I know he, he was very patient with everybody because a lot of us are, you know, first year students not really knowing where we are, what we want to do. And he was very patient with us and helped us as much as he could. Okay. And now you've declared a major, I guess, right? Yeah. Psychology. That, psychology, okay. Yeah. But back to that first year, uh, you lived in a common residence hall. Which one? Bard Hall. Okay. <laughs> On the other side of campus. Okay. Did you get to know each other pretty well in Bard? Yes. Every night. It was like a sleepover. Really? Yeah. I'm still friends with all the girls. But um, everyone, we all went to class together. You know, we tried to put our boots on when it was raining, and we all went together and uh, went to lunch together usually because our classes were just like, you know, right in order. And, uh, and then came back and did homework together. So you would say that's a good thing to do yes. for freshmen. You, yes. you would be an advocate. Okay? Yes, definitely. You said living. You lived in Bard. It's a little different from where you're living today, but uh, right? Is yes. that You live in a really nice place. Yes. Not that that wasn't nice yes. in Bard. Describe that area. It was a single room, right? Yes, it was a single room. I was paired with a random roommate okay. who wasn't in any of my classes. Um, but. It was, we had two built-in closets, a vanity, and I brought the fridge and the rug, and we had the community bathroom. Okay. So, it was A little home. different from where you're living today, yes, right? Yes, yes, a little different. It was definitely a big adjustment from going from home to living in a small space with someone always in your room, or somebody always in your room. So I gather you opted out, you're a sophomore now. Yes. You opted not to live in the residence hall anymore, although this is in some ways a residence hall, right? Yeah, I don't mind dorm life. I, I was actually scheduled to live in Burroughs, okay. the high sky rise thing. Um, but I switched and somehow got in here with my roommate. Um, I don't mind dorm life, but it's definitely nicer to have your own bathroom. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I understand. And um, not, it's not so loud. Okay. Because in Bard, at, people were partying or up talking all hours of the night kind of thing. Uh, the food. Everybody always worries about that food. You mentioned it a couple times. You ate together. You went out together. Mm -hmm. How was the food? It was good. The first week or two was good. Okay. Like, really good. They make it really nice. Um, but after that, it kind of goes downhill. Really? Yeah. Where'd, where'd, you, where'd you eat? Uh, uh, Gordon Ear, Lyle? Well, well, I lived in bars, so the bistro, the bistro. Okay. was a big one, not very good. Um, but Gordon Ear definitely is the place I eat now. And last year, I kind of, I would eat everything at first because it was just kind of like, oh, cool, like something new. But after that, I just stuck to the salad bar. Okay. And now, I some just, people talk about the freshman 15 pounds. Yes. Ice cream. Ice cream did it? That's what got me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all, you get all, ice cream all the time. It's just right there. Like, well, I don't get ice cream. <laughs> yeah. so, so you certainly don't look like you gained 15 no, pounds. But, but I did. Yeah. You did, okay. Yeah. So the food was all right, is what you say. Yeah. Now you have a food plan that still includes Gordon Ear? Yes. 
Okay. And, and uh, do you do any cooking in this building? No, I wish we could, but no, there's no kitchen. Um, actually, in our dorms last year, we did have a kitchen mm -hmm. underneath, and I would cook there. Not mm -hmm. my Russia, my cookies and stuff. Everybody's always worried about safety yeah. on campus. Do you feel safe? This is a safe campus? Yes, I think I do. Um, people joke, like I had pepper spray on my wallet for there a while and never used it, and then it broke and I threw it away. Okay. But honestly, I don't think that's even necessary. I'm, I feel safe. You have these blue boxes. Yes, you can, and they, you can, they put new ones around. Yeah, I saw okay. that. and you see the campus police around all yes. the time. and I'm very familiar with them, yeah, so then they're really good. You're familiar with them because you're involved in extracurricular activity. What are you today? I'm a peer health educator. I work at the Women's and Wellness Center. Okay. In Montour House, across from the SMAC. Okay. And um, we basically educate students on sexual health, physical health, nutrition, and mental health. Okay. You also said in addition to being a psych major, you got two minors, is that right? Yes. I'm minoring right now. It's tentative, but art and biology. Okay. You think you graduate in four years? No. Are you going to spend five years here? I, I hope I graduate in four years, but I really don't know. You get lots of money? No. No? No. I mean, it's a, it's a lot of money. To... Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll but see. You... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. So you recommend Millersville for students? Definitely. Did you apply to any other schools? Um, yeah, a lot of state schools similar to this, but... I, for some reason, I just thought this school was very friendly, more community-based. I liked okay. the community around it, too. Mm. I think that's what really attracted me. Well, Kelsey, any final thoughts, anything you think that you would like to tell the world about your experience at Millersville University? I want to tell the world. Uh, it's great. And the one, number one thing I recommend to anybody thinking about going to any type of school is just get involved so that you feel, you know, united and a part of the school, definitely. And that's what helped me, I think, feel like I was a part of Millersville, was okay. just getting involved and meeting new people and learning you, how it works. You, and you, you think you've changed since you came here? Yes, definitely. You've grown a little? Yes, okay. definitely. Any other final things? Um, Are we done? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kelsey. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. And I uh, appreciate you listening. Uh, think about Millersville. Kelsey likes it. Yes. I've been here 41 years. I must like it. And the two interns are here. They love it, too. So think about coming to Millersville University. But, hey, wherever you go, make it your choice. Thank you for listening.